forget long division, hate long division, blah, 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 blah. So when we're doing long division, what we're going to do is basically divide into the whole number. All right? Um, and what we do is we always start with the leftmost digit first, and then we just keep on adding until we find a term that it divides into. So does 43 divide into 1? No. No, but I don't need to write a decimal point because there's more digits, right? So then, does 43 divide into 18? No. No. Does 43 divide into 182? Yeah. Yes, it does. Now, how many times does 43 divide into 182? And some of you might know this off the top of your head, and some of you may not. So the best way that I would say, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a calculator and you're trying to determine how many times 43 divides into 182, is just write down the multiples of 43. So we have 43, and then 43 times 2 would be 86. And if I added another 43, I'd have 120, 129. And then, again, if you forget it, say, all right, 129 plus 43, right? And you just would keep on adding 43. So we can, can we add another 43 fit in there? Yeah, sure. So that's going to be 100 and 172. Now, I know I can't add another 43, though, can I? So I can say 43 divides 182, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. Then you multiply 4 times 43. We already knew, no, it was 142, so that's 100, oh, I'm sorry, 172. 172. Subtract 182 minus 172 is 10. Now we do the same process all over again. Does 43 divide into 10? No. So we bring down the 5. Now, how many times is 43 going to divide into 105? 2. 2 times 43 is going to be 86. Divide, or subtract, I'm sorry, 19. Now, I will say, guys, we're not going to be dealing with uh, remainders. I want you guys to make sure you calculate a decimal. All right? how, rather than saying, oh, it's going to be a remainder of this, let's learn how to calculate the decimal. Does 43 divide into 19? No. Um, can we bring, is there any other digits we can bring down? No. So we can bring down a 0, though, right? But to bring down a 0, we have to include our decimal. So now we bring down a decimal. So now we bring in 0. Well, since I wrote down all the multiples, I know it's going to go in there four more times. And then obviously, if I'm saying like, if I say like keep on doing, you know, find it to the hundredth, to the thousandth, or whatever else, this is just to the tenth. That will be perfect enough just for this class. Um, so when you divide it in there, there you go. OK? Last questions? You guys really just want to get this stuff over with.